What's up guys? We're here with another video. Sorry I didn't post anything yesterday, but it's because it was my brother's birthday. <laughs> so I just kind of spent the day with him. So, regardless, anyway, we're back to normal schedule, so, uh, yeah. Um, also too, on Friday, I think, on Friday I'm going to be showing some of the work that um, you guys have done. Uh, it's not a, uh, it's not going to be a whole lot, because I haven't got a lot of people that have sent them in. But regardless, I'm going to show the ones that I did get. Uh, so yeah, so I think that would be cool. Anyway, so we're going to jump right into it. Let me go ahead and open this up. Okay, so a few things that I want to work on uh, remaining that we, well, a few, the little bit that we have left to do on this robot. I kind of want to do a few things. Uh, da, 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 let's see. I want to, um, I don't know why that was acting so slow, but regardless, okay, let's see, I'm just trying to see where we are. This layer is, I don't think this layer is anything. Okay, so let's bring this up, because I need a new layer. Now, one thing that I really wanted to do is, you see these wires and stuff? I wanted to add just some little, uh, kind of like little glow, kind of sparks. So... To do that, I'm going to be using the airbrush, like we have been for the last couple of, uh, well, the, towards the end of the last video, I guess, we have been using the airbrush quite a bit. So, you know, actually, actually leave it right there, about 87%. Make sure you have a new layer, and yeah, we have the airbrush tool, and we're just going to start adding some little effects to this. So, let's go ahead, just kind of, kind of coloring the wire in a way. But you'll see what I'm going to do to it. So, yeah. This probably is the last video for um, for this drawing, just because I want to move on to something else. I feel like we kind of covered enough in, um, in this video. So, yeah, we're going to just get ready and move on to the next thing. So I'm just coloring these wires in. I'm going to see if I can make this video a little bit shorter. I mean, I don't think you guys mind the, how long the last video was, but regardless, I'm going to see if I can make it a little shorter. Okay. Also, too, um, I meant to get rid of that shadow layer. I really don't need that anymore. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so let's see. So we kind of got that colored in. I wanted to do, um, oh yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of this too, the little arrows that I was talking about in the the other video. We can go ahead and get rid of those too. Um, what I wanted to do though was, I'm going to go ahead and merge what we just did with those wires. I'm going to go ahead and merge that. But um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do our shadow. And I have a really cool, uh, something really cool that I'm going to show you guys in this video, so just uh, bear with me. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and add, let's get some black. We have our airbrush tool. We have a new layer. Let's drop the opacity on it, though, to about 58%. And let's scale this up just a little bit. And let's go ahead and just start drawing our shadow in the background. Oh yeah, I want to say thanks and welcome to all of the new subscribers. You guys just keep coming in. <laughs> and I just want to let you guys know that I definitely appreciate appreciate all of you. And like I always say, welcome to the art side. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So now we have our shadow. Um, but here's what I want to do. I want to show you guys something pretty darn cool. Okay, um, Sketchbook Pro has a um, blur tool, and maybe some people aren't sure what this could be good for or whatever, um, but I actually, oops, I didn't mean to create that layer. Okay, but um, I want to show you what this can be used for, but really quick, we're going to, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to color in those um, toes or whatever, so let's grab... Uh, this tool up here in the corner, I hope you can see that, right up there in the corner, 
and we'll select this purple. I'm pretty sure it got the purple. Did it? No, it didn't. I missed it. Okay, let's see. Let's try that again. And get in closer to where I can really get a good grip on it. Oops. Okay. There we go. I think I got it that time. Yep. Okay, so... Okay, we have the... Brilliant. Okay, so let's go down here real quick. And just before... Uh, we wrap this video up. I just want to show you guys something really cool with the uh, with the blur tool. Just something that can actually help speed up your um, your progress as far as like what you're creating. Just to help you get a um, a really cool effect uh, within a very 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 short amount of time. So. Just kind of wanted to show you guys that. Okay, so, whoops, let's finish that up a little bit. And let's color that in. And color this in. Oops, we missed that one. <laughs> and color this in. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a really cool thing. This picture. We're actually going to make it kind of look like he's standing in water. So what I'm going to do to achieve that is I'm going to now, these two layers, our line layer and our color layer, we're going to merge those two together. Finally. They just got married. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer, come up here, and duplicate it. Okay, so it has two pluses next to it. So I just duplicated it. Now I'm going to come up here to these three dots, go into transform, and flip this upside down. Yes, I just flipped it upside down. Okay, now we're going to put it right about, about here. I know this looks really funny, <laughs> but you'll see why I'm doing it. Okay. Remember, I said we're going to make it look like he's standing in water, so I just want to show you guys a really cool trick. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's turn this layer down, the opacity, just so we can kind of see what we're doing with that other layer a little bit better. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, grab the eraser tool. And we're, oops, there we go. We're just going to start erasing. Let me get the stronger eraser because that one's going to take too long. Okay. And. Gosh, what? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so right about. Let's say right about. Well, actually, that was too much. Let's put a little bit back. Okay, let's just say like right about there. Okay, so um, I know this is looking funny, <laughs> but trust me, it will, it's, it's going to work out just fine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drop, uh, bring the opacity back up on that layer, and now we're going to come over to um, um, our duplicated layer that we just flipped upside down, and we're going to grab the blur tool. Now you're going to have to scroll through. Here it is. It's this one right here. Okay, so it doesn't have a label or anything on it, but that's what it is. So we're going to adjust this now. And let's zoom, oops, let's zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to start going back and forth on it. And push that back in a little bit. So, I hope you can see that, but by the time we're done with this, it's going to look like, like he's standing in some water. Got to make sure we get it all blurred, though. Okay, so can you see that? I hope you can. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come and create a new layer underneath. Um, you know, we really could have... I just I didn't think we were gonna go ahead and do this I this do it this way but I guess we are so um, we could have left out that shadow layer but it's okay so now what we're gonna do is uh, 
Did I grab white? I meant to grab blue. Okay, so now what we're going to do, make sure that you're on a new layer, okay, which we are. Okay, and we're just going to go like this. Just like this. Just going to start coloring all of this in. What are we at? 10 minutes? Okay, that's not bad. Maybe we'll make it come up a little bit higher, just so it looks like he's all the way in there. Okay, so he's standing in water right now, but we're not done just yet. So now what we're going to do is we are going to... Do, 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 do. Let's see, we're going to take this layer right here, which is our reflection layer now. We're going to drop the opacity on it just a little bit. And we're actually going to take this. Yeah, I know. The reason why I went up a little bit is you'll see why. So we're going to cut it down to right there. And let's go grab our eraser tool again. And let's start cutting some of it back. Just about right. Oh, just like that. I'm just going to trim the rest of this down. And clear that up a little bit. Just make sure it's all nice and clean. Just like so. Okay. So. Alright, just like that, okay? Now, the last thing we're going to do, well not the last thing, but uh, make sure we still have that blue selected, which we do. Let's go ahead and grab our uh, blur tool. And we're going to come all the way back. We can actually draw on this shadow layer because I thought we were going to use it, but then I, I kind of kind of switched things up a bit. So now we're going to actually scribble all of that back in behind there, what we just got rid of. Okay, so that's one way, a really quick, easy way that you can make it look like there is um, water. Okay, and we can take this reflection layer and we can actually merge it with our top water layer. And now, one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to come up here, grab white, make sure you have your airbrush tool, and drop. come up here to a new layer, drop the opacity to about 54%. Then we're going to scale this down just a little bit. And, well, actually, let's turn that back up a little bit because you can barely see that. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and just do this for now. Let's just add some lines pretty much anywhere you want. Okay, so pretty much just like that. We're at 14 minutes, okay, and we're almost done. <laughs> okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to come back and grab that blur tool, which is right here, and we're just going to blur those lines a little bit. So, just kind of do whatever you want with them. This kind of gives it more of a uh, watery look. Yeah, just like that. As far as the background, hey look, we made a wrench. 
But uh, as far as the background, you guys can pretty much do whatever you want with continuing this. So yeah, so you see, that's, uh, oops, and I'm running out of battery. <laughs> but uh, that's a really quick, easy way you can make it uh, turn into, uh, or make some water. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. I thank you guys so much for sticking with me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.